Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, you know, one of the things we have to do here all too frequently at Washington Gun Law is, uh, you know, give you guys bad news. There's not a lot of good news that we get to cover on this channel. Occasionally, we get a big win or something like that, but not as often as we'd like. Occasionally, also, along comes a story that maybe doesn't have as much significance, but we're so starved for good news that we jump on it. And this is a story that I think's really taken off around the YouTube reverse that probably doesn't have too much wind behind the sails. But let's talk about it anyway so we can understand what this is all about. So today, let's spend a few minutes and talk about a bill to abolish the ATF. What are the chances? Okay, before we get going down the road, we're going down. Proud to announce that this video is being brought to you by Legal Heat. That's right, the nation's largest educator of concealed classes nationwide. Legal Heat has been teaching individuals since 2005 and now have over 200,000 graduates nationwide to their classes. Now listen, for my Washington viewers, you can find a class at any one of these locations right here. If you're watching from somewhere outside the state of Washington, congratulations. Chances are you are living much freer than we are, unless, of course, you live in New York, Illinois, New Jersey, Michigan, California, or Oregon. However, you too can find a class real close to your own backyard by visiting them at mylegalheat.com. That's mylegalheat.com. And here's what's else is important is no matter where you are in the country, if you find a class that you like, go ahead and sign up and use promo code Washington Gun Law. That is Washington Gun Law, all one word, and you will receive 10% off. So for more information, visit them at mylegalheat.com. Okay, so the issue we're talking about today is a bill to abolish the ATF. Woohoo! Yeah, that is exactly what you want. And I know that when all of you um, clicked on this, you're going to accuse me of clickbait, and that's why I added it to the title, but what are the chances? There are a lot of people out here in the YouTubeverse that think that this is a realistic possibility, that this is an amazing piece of legislation, and we all need to get behind it because the ATF's days are numbered. While I would love to believe that all of that is true, uh, what we try to do here at Washington Gun Law is give you objective information, things for you to think about, and then you decide what that means to you. Here is the bill. Are we ready to take a look at the bill itself? It is, of course, sponsored by Representative Matt Gates, okay, of uh, Florida's first congressional district. And Representative Gates certainly has uh, made a name for himself. And in some things, I really have enjoyed what uh, Congressman Gates has done. And then there's other things that I find to roll my eyes at sometimes, but that's politicians in general. Um, Representative Gates, I don't think him and his staff spent a lot of time drafting this legislation because, as you can see, this is it, okay? And, and I'm not joking. This is it. As a matter of fact, for the first time in the history of Washington gun law, I'm actually going to read the entire bill to you, okay? That tells you how big of a bill this is. I'm going to read the whole thing to you. This is uh, House resolution, and it does not have a number yet. So this is how young and in the infancy of this bill it is. We have not even been signed a House resolution number, but it reads as follows. A bill to abolish the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Be it enacted by the Senate and the House of Representatives of the United States of America and Congress assembled, Section 1, short title. This act may be cited as the Abolish the ATF Act. Section 2. Abolishment of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives is hereby abolished. And yep, yep, that, that's the end of the bill. Now, again, I don't like big word salads that turn into legislation, although that does give us material to work with here at Washington Gun Law. Candidly, if legislators could write really clear and concise statements, I wouldn't have a reason to even do this channel. But the likelihood that a bill that it has put forth this much thought, and I get it. I, do we want to get rid of the ATF? We would love to get rid of the ATF. Is this the way it's going to happen through a, a one-page bill scribbled on a cocktail napkin? I'm afraid not. The other thing is, and what we try to do with politics here at Washington Gun Law, as you know, is just look at the math, okay? Because in my world, politics is much like math, okay? Which side has more votes is the side that's going to prevail. Um, while there is enough votes in the House to perhaps pass this, there is right now not enough votes in the Senate. And if you could get a couple to flip so that it passed out of the, both the House and the Senate, the likelihood that Joe Biden is going to sign this into legislation is virtually impossible. Now, 
he would veto it. At that point, of course, there is a chance to override the veto. But for all of you who remember Schoolhouse Rock or your elementary school civics, you will remember that in order to override a presidential veto, two-thirds of both chambers of Congress must agree to do so, or what we like to call mathematical impossibilities. So the bottom line is, is yes, I think that there are a lot of ways in which we would like to see the ATF abolished. Now, Representative Gates here, I think your likelihood of succeeding on this piece of legislation is probably somewhere between slim and none, with slim likely being out of town. But there is a lot of other ways that we can start curtailing the ATF. And the biggest and easiest way is with the purse strings, okay? Any future government spending bills, any future omnibus bills, any future budgeting, can you begin to significantly pare back ATF's encroachment into your personal lives through funding? You most certainly can. Can you hamper and or delay or hinder many of these unconstitutional enforcement efforts that are taking place under this administration, you most certainly can. And that is where we are likely to see the rubber meet the road. Listen, you may have more questions about House resolution, whatever it is, or anything else related to what's left of your Second Amendment rights. If you do, you can always contact us at WashingtonGunLaw.com or you can call us directly at 425-765-0487. Now, in the meantime, let's remember, Part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here at Washington Gun Law, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe.